For many years, Starbucks has been a well-known name worldwide. However, when the company opened its first shop in China in 1999, it faced challenges. At that time, tea was the preferred beverage in China, and it was difficult for Starbucks to enter the market. Nevertheless, the company believed in the potential of the Chinese market. It utilized key marketing and integration techniques to become a dominant force in the region for the next two decades. In 2017, Starbucks faced a significant challenge when Luckin Coffee emerged with a mission to surpass and humiliate Starbucks in China. Earlier this year, Luckin Coffee successfully outmaneuvered and surpassed Starbucks, becoming the number one coffee chain in China. In this video, we will explore how Starbucks conquered the Chinese market and how Luck and Coffee managed to pull off such a significant upset. But first, please take a moment to like and subscribe to our content. This will help us reach more people. Long before Luck and Coffee, Starbucks had been a dominant player in the Chinese market. They adapted to local tastes and preferences introducing a range of Chinese-inspired drinks that resonated with the local clientele. By crafting beverages like the Yuan Long Milk Tea Frappuccino and Tianjin Tiramisu Frappuccino, Starbucks was able to blend its global brand with the rich culinary traditions of China. These innovative creations combined the familiarity of Starbucks' signature frappuccinos with elements of Chinese culture, providing a unique and enticing experience for Chinese consumers this slowly made Starbucks a personal preference for many Chinese. Starbucks recognized the importance of tea in Chinese culture and expanded its menu to include a wide range of tea-based beverages. They demonstrated their devotion to knowing and responding to local preferences by catering to China's strong tea-drinking culture. This strategy decision enabled Starbucks to reach a broader client base and entice folks who were previously uninterested in coffee. In essence, Starbucks' efforts in China demonstrated its commitment to being an intrinsic part of the Chinese coffee and tea culture. Starbucks' success in China went beyond simply changing its product offerings. The business employed astute marketing methods to appeal to the Chinese market. One important component of their strategy was to use Chinese personalities and cultural symbols in their advertising campaigns. Starbucks might effectively engage with local consumers and tap into the impact of these people by using popular Chinese actors, singers, or other public figures in their marketing. This method contributed to a sense of familiarity and relatability, making Starbucks feel like an integral part of the local cultural environment. Starbucks saw the importance of collaborating with local businesses in order to strengthen its position in the Chinese market. By collaborating with local businesses, Starbucks was able to offer exclusive discounts and promotions, further motivating Chinese customers to select Starbucks over competitors. These partnerships not only increased Starbucks' visibility, but also emphasized the company's dedication to helping and integrating with the local business community. Starbucks portrayed itself as a brand that was firmly anchored in the Chinese market and invested in its growth through partnering with local businesses. Starbucks' success in China was equally fueled by the emergence and rapid expansion of the Chinese middle class. Over the last few decades, China's spectacular economic progress has resulted in a considerable increase in the number of people with disposable money. With rising earnings, more Chinese consumers have the financial means to partake in premium coffee experiences such as those provided by Starbucks. Starbucks actively targeted the emerging middle class as a significant and increasingly prominent consumer base in order to get into this burgeoning industry. The emergence of the Chinese middle class in the early 2000s resulted not just in more disposable income, but also in a shift in consumer preferences. Many middle class people wanted to adopt Western lifestyles and embrace Western brands and products. Starbucks, with its global appeal and superb reputation, is well positioned to meet this demand. Starbucks' premium image and warm retail environment resonate with the aspirations and lifestyle choices of the rising middle-class Chinese, making the coffee business a symbol of sophistication and prestige. Starbucks' careful positioning of outlets in very convenient locations was one of the primary reasons leading to the company's success in China. Starbucks locations include retail malls, office buildings, business districts, and even residential communities. 
Because of this meticulous selection of store locations, Chinese consumers have access to Starbucks while going about their regular activities. People frequently find a Starbucks location nearby, whether they are shopping, working, or simply commuting, making it a go-to destination for a quick cup of coffee or a quiet break. Starbucks' presence in shopping malls and office buildings is especially notable. Shopping malls in China are more than just retail establishments. They are also places for recreational and social activity. The presence of a Starbucks store in these retail malls improves the overall shopping experience by offering a location for customers to rest, mingle, or conduct business meetings. Furthermore, Starbucks's presence in office buildings caters to the needs of busy professionals who can conveniently grab a cup of coffee without having to leave their offices. This convenience is critical in attracting a varied client base and ensuring that Starbucks stays a convenient alternative for people with a variety of lives and schedules. Despite Starbucks absolutely dominating the market, Luck & Coffee brought the coffee game to a whole other level and were able to defeat Starbucks. Luck & Coffee's competitive advantage in the Chinese market stems from its pricing strategy, which undercuts Starbucks prices greatly. This decreased pricing makes Luck & Coffee more accessible to a broader spectrum of Chinese consumers, particularly those who are more price conscious. Luck In has positioned itself to appeal to a broader clientele including students, young professionals, and others who may not be prepared to pay Starbucks high costs for coffee. The affordability of Luck & Coffee corresponds with the desires of many Chinese consumers who are accustomed to cost-effective and convenient solutions. Luck & cheaper prices resonate with the local ethos of thrift in a country where value for money is greatly valued. This pricing strategy has not only attracted price-conscious customers, but has also challenged Starbucks for market share particularly in highly competitive urban regions, where both chains have a substantial presence. Luck & Coffee's pricing strategy goes beyond merely the cost of coffee. To further tempt clients, the corporation frequently conducts promotions, discounts, and loyalty programs, making their services even more affordable. Luck & ability to establish momentum in the Chinese coffee market and compete effectively with Starbucks has been aided by a combination of reduced base prices and additional cost-saving incentives. Luck & Coffee's success over Starbucks in China is also due to its unique and user-friendly mobile app, which provides delivery and pickup services. This digital platform has become a crucial component of Luck & business model catering to the hectic lifestyles of Chinese consumers who place a premium on expediency and efficiency. Customers can get coffee and other products through the app with a few easy touches on their cell phones, eliminating the need to wait in long lines or even visit a physical store. This shortened ordering process is ideal for the fast-paced metropolitan lifestyle found in many Chinese cities. Luckin's mobile app's delivery service is simply outstanding. This concept is really powerful because whilst Starbucks focused on fusing Western advertising techniques with the Chinese culture, Luckin was building a more customized experience for each customer. Customers can have their coffee brought right to their door or office, saving them time and effort. This service has grown in popularity, particularly among office employees and students who may have their coffee brought conveniently during a break or study session. Luck & Coffee effectively taps into the expanding trend of food and beverage delivery services in China by offering this delivery option, matching the developing expectations of Chinese consumers who increasingly prefer the convenience of online ordering and delivery. Luck & Coffee's digital marketing prowess has been critical to its rapid ascent and success in China's coffee business. To effectively communicate with Chinese consumers, the corporation has used a variety of digital methods. Their extensive presence on social media platforms has been one of their distinguishing strategies. Luckin has a sizable following on popular Chinese social media platforms such as WeChat and Weibo, where it interacts with its audience through unique and engaging content. This active online presence not only keeps customers up to date on specials and new products, but also develops a sense of community and brand loyalty. Luck & Coffee's digital marketing initiatives are not limited to social media. To generate excitement about its products, the corporation has been skilled at employing digital advertising and targeted marketing initiatives. 
they identified and reached out to potential customers using data-driven techniques, resulting in greater brand awareness and customer acquisition. Luckin has successfully used digital channels to make its brand synonymous with ease and cost, aligning with the desires of many Chinese consumers. After the humiliation of Starbucks, you can only expect things to get a whole lot more interesting. What we know for sure is, Starbucks never backs down from a fight. It wouldn't be surprising to see Starbucks back at the top in the coming months. Thanks for watching and please leave a like and a sub to the channel so our content can continue to reach an even wider audience. See you guys in the next video.